Hey, how are you today? We're going to be doing a tutorial and this one we're going to be doing a little bit differently. Uh, today I'm going to tell you to make the creation first and then you can watch this video and you can follow along if you like. So we are going to be making a contraption where slimes will leave a trail of moss and slime if they're in a slime chunk or something like that. So the commands you might need are execute uh, our type equals slime. Uh, you will also need a scoreboard timer if you want to make this timed, uh, but at the very least a fill command will be necessary. Uh, so let's go, let's just create a new world from scratch and we're going to call this slime chunks. Has to be a creative world, let's just not even look at the options, let's just create it right away. Okay, so now we are in the world. The first thing I want to do is go game rule log admin commands false because that reduces lag. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to give myself a command block like so, and then I'm going to turn off the command block output so our chat doesn't get too spammy. All right, so the first thing that I want to do is add a timer just to make this less laggy. This is completely optional, but let's go to scoreboard objectives, add timer, and we're going to make this a dummy objective so only commands can trigger it. And all right, so what we need to do now is we need to have a fake player, let's go scoreboard players add, we'll call it slime timer, uh, timer and we'll just increment that by one. Let's go always active repeating. We can't actually see what's happening so we're going to set the display uh, of timer and as you can see the slime timer score is going up. So I want to activate this every 10 seconds. So let's just do a test for 200 ticks which is 10 seconds. One second is equal to 20 ticks. Let's go scoreboard players. Test, slime timer, timer, if it's at least 200, then something will happen. Let's make this a chain command block, like so. All right, so this is going to be doing a test and it's saying uh, score 260 is in range of two to uh, theoretically infinity. All right, so what we need to do now is we can say, we want to reset this timer. So scoreboard player set slime timer, timer to zero. And as you can see now, we have a timer that will go to zero every time it reaches 200. All right, so awesome. Now we want to attach a repeating conditional command now. And so this is going to activate a long line, which will only activate if that timer reaches 200. So if I just have a say hi command on the back here, uh, then when the timer reaches zero, it says hi, uh, which is great. All right, so now we have our system in place. We want to be able to target slimes. All right, so we don't need that. Now, I don't want this to be too laggy and I want this to be sort of random. So what we're going to do is we're going to execute from a random slime, type equals slime. Now, because I am in the 1.11 snapshot, this can be lowercase uh, because commands are no longer case sensitive. However, if you are in 1.10, that has to be a capital letter. Anyway, let's continue. So it's going to target a random slime, and then we're just going to perform a fill command around it. So we're just going to fill one below it with mossy cobblestone if it detects that there's just regular stone beneath it, hence the zero. If I didn't put that zero there, then it would target this stone, this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one, and this one as well. I only want to target this one, hence that zero on the end right there. And I don't just want it to work for stone, I also want it to work for stone brick, just regular one. And to get mossy stone brick, we have to type in stone brick one. Because as you can see here, if I type in stone brick, uh, you can see that it's stone brick 98 slash one. If you can't see this, then go F3 and H at the same time, and it will show you. Because if I disable that, well, as you can see, you can't really see it. So let's go F3H, and then that will show the tooltips again. Pretty useful stuff. So anyway, now we have our system in place. We don't need the other command blocks. Uh, actually, one more thing I want to add. If it detects cobblestone, then it needs to make it mossy. So let's just go mossy cobblestone zero, replace cobblestone. All right. And one more thing I want to do is just make sure that we are in the spawn chunks. So let's go set world spawn right here because otherwise if you unload the chunks then it will stop working entirely. So now let's go underground and summon in some slimes, just pretend that this is a slime chunk and we can make this work. So 
let's have a slime place it right here and just pretend there we go baby slime that's the kind of what I wanted uh, alright so when that timer reaches 200 we should see something happen and there we go leaves a tiny trail of slime so if you ever encounter mossy cobblestone randomly in a cave you know you're in a slime chunk and I think that this should actually be a feature in the game and yeah, I, I like it. Um, it probably won't make it into the Tempest's box, but who knows. Anyways guys, if you enjoy this style of tutorial, please let me know in the comments so I can make more of them. Uh, but for now, thanks everyone for watching. I will see you in the next one. Take care.